I was uh, very ambitious as a boy. I was delvish. I wasn't mean. I guess some people call me mean even now. I just say, well, no, I'm not mean. I just mean what I say. But um, wait, wait, she, wait, what do you mean you were devilish when you were? Well, yeah. I had a lot of fun making things happen, upsetting things sometimes. Uh, uh, like if the teacher had me stand in the corner, I'd run the clock up so the girls and others would laugh. And <laughs> <laughs> she uh, has a story written to me somewhere that um, my teacher was punishing me for, I don't know what it was, talking or something. She had me to stand up in the corner. So the clock was in the corner, and I'd, I, was, I was always, I guess, the center of attention. And the girls were smiling, and I just run the clock up a little bit, you know, just a minute, a few minutes. And they kept smiling, I kept running, I ran about 45 minutes ahead of time. And the teacher, Mrs. Owens, was uh, thinking it was time to close, she had rang the big bell, bell right up here from my house where I was raised up. Kalinga, linga, linga. And at that time, in the 40s it was, I think, maybe the 30s, uh, the government was trying to get adults in school, adult education, way back then. And Professor Parker was coming up uh, on the school grounds at the time she was letting us out. And he said, well, what's wrong? She said, well, it's time to dismiss, the clock said. <laughs> and, and so... Uh, he said, no, it just so. And she says, Freddy. <laughs> I, knew, I knew it was going to be the devil to play. And she walked me back to the cloakroom and, uh, and, 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 and worked on my rear end. <laughs> and so I come out. I was tough. I wouldn't cry. She wanted me to cry. And, and I'd come out and I'd look at those girls. They'd be smiling. I'd smile. You know, we made five trips to the cloakroom. And... Some of those licks were hidden in the very same place, you know. <laughs> I finally said on the fourth trip, on the fifth trip, I said, this woman going to kill herself and me. <laughs> so when I came out this time, I took my finger and put a little spit on my eyes. So she thought I was crying, and she eased off, and that's how I ended it. I was hurting, but I still wasn't crying. <laughs> I, I see where the term devilish would come from. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I call it devilish. I had a lot of fun. Yeah, and clearly the the uh, the little girls liked you too. I guess it did. I wouldn't think about court or nothing like then, but I was. Uh, if they were smiling and giving assent to what I was doing, I was always. I guess I liked to be the center of attraction back there. Mm -hmm. I don't typically think that's my style now. I just do what I do. I had read about about uh, you're getting arrested. Yeah, the clan. You know, the clan tried to put that out. You know, a long time ago. Uh huh. That that you were. Uh, I was a distiller, a yeah. bootlegger, bootlegger, yeah. bootlegger. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To call. At the ripe old age of eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have known how to put that by myself, in <laughs> but that didn't mean anything at that time. Labels and mm -hmm. names, uh, like to call people communists to get them from stop doing this and that. So. Right. I came up through all of that, and I never was deterred by what people call me. Yeah, I always believed, like Abraham Lincoln, calling a cow's tail a leg does not make it a leg. 